Hey, I'm KIC. This is They Are Billions from Numantian Games who provided the key we're using to play with today. I'm going to pause the game because two hours have already passed as I've just been sitting here staring at it. If you're not familiar with this game, you're going to figure it out pretty darn quickly that yes, this is in fact something like a real-time strategy game with uh, zombies. <laughs> really, this is a post-apocalyptic survival simulator that I don't really want to place tents down just yet because I kind of want to see where... I actually think I'd rather... Oh, man, which way to go? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We need to do some scouting first. Here, how about you? Do some more scouting that way. These guys... I want to I want to do a little scouting before I do anything. There we go. We have a little bit of room we can work with over here. And I'll explain a little more as we get going, if you're not familiar with the game. If you are, well, then you kind of know what I'm doing, I think. And that I'm really just trying to get the lay of the land, so we know what we're going to be doing so we know where we need to be blocking off entrances for zombies. Yes, that's right. We will have zombies everywhere. Let's go ahead and build a couple of tents. We're going to pop those down. We'll go right here and right here. And maybe... I don't know. Maybe we should do a couple more over here. I'm, I'm just thinking we're going to need more of these sooner or later. But we don't want to block access to things. This will indeed kind of block pathways, so we'll just do that for right now. You can just kind of hang back there. I don't think anyone's going to be coming from that direction for right now. Oh, look at this. This is... This might be a pretty fortunate start if this works out okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's get some resources going. So what do we have going on right now? This is a post-apocalyptic survival game where you basically have to build up a colony of survivors with the hopes of, uh, you know, surviving, as it were. We don't have much food available, so we are going to indeed need to make some... Well, let's see, if we do a hunter's cottage, what can we get out of that one? We can get 13 food out of that one. We can get 16 food out of that one. That's pretty good. Or we can do a fisherman's cottage, which will get us... Ooh, if we could build one right on the edge, that would be excellent. But no, we can't quite make it right there. 17, 18... Not, not quite, I mean... Can't, can't shove it there because I put all those tents in the way. My bad. My bad. I kind of made that not work out well. Let's go ahead and put a hunter's cottage up here. We're going to end up blocking some of the stuff, stuff off anyway, so it's not going to matter. So here we are. Post-apocalyptic survival game. RTS. Kind of a bunch of things in one. I'm going to say let's split these guys up for right now. Technically, they're not guys, but you know what I mean, right? We'll put you as group number one. You're going to be group number two. We're just using standard control and a number. Standard RTS stuff. The Rangers are kind of your first military unit in the game. They're quiet. Their attacks are silent. They don't do much damage. They have decent range. But they'll kill stuff without making a lot of noise and, a, and bringing a bunch of zombies around. So let's go ahead and just move you up a little bit so you guys can take care of them. I think you'll be okay over here. We're going to need to be making so many more resources here that I'm probably lollygagging a little too much here. Let's go ahead and send you over there. This is our command center. This is where everything basically starts. If we lose this building, the game is over. But this is kind of where everything comes from. So we have our colonist stuff, our resources, energy, which we'll talk more about energy as we need to. Industry and trade, military, and defense. So right now for defense, we don't really have many options. You basically get a wall, a gate, and a tower that you have to put units in to do something with. Otherwise, it's just kind of a tower that sits there. If we're going to make a soldier's center, we need a lot of resources we don't have. So at this point, we're probably ready to start looking at working on getting a sawmill going on. Now for the sawmill, you're obviously going to want to place it near trees. And that's going to get us 11, 13. That's not too bad. I could deal with 13. Except I can't place it right there. Minor details, 9, 13. What about if we put it over here? That's not much. I Maybe I shouldn't have put that hunter's cabin right there. That might have been a bad choice. Might have been a bad choice. Now, you see right here where you kind of get the end of these tiled areas and then there's nothing else. Yeah, that's energy. So if we want to build beyond here, we need to build something that'll extend our energy out so we can do that. Now, as best I can tell, you cannot destroy the terrain in the game. So these trees are just 
they're just here. It's the way it is. I'm going to say we'll just put that right there. That's fine. We'll let that get going. And let's go see what's going on on this side. Oh, look at that. We found some resources lying around. So there's a bunch of wood. We're going to take all of that, I guess. As far as I can tell, whenever you start the game on these maps, which, by the way, are all random, there always seems to be some spot where there's a little bit of resources just lying around. I think this might be iron and this is stone. So that is potentially a huge, huge find, because that's not that far away. Never mind. There's some over that way, too, which might be a little better just looking at where it is. I mean, there's not much over there. That might even be a better location. We're going to have to start... Oh, look at that. Some more stuff over there. Awesome. Well, we're not going to pick that stuff up right now. Now that the sawmill's done, you're going to see it's going to start bringing in 12 wood. That's going to be every 8 hours. We have a limit of 50 wood that we can have at any given time. So before we end up losing out on that, we're just going to go ahead and do this uh, right away, I think. Just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and put some wooden walls up. Now, you might be saying, well, how are you going to get out? Well, not really intending to at the moment. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, I'm not really intending to go that way right now. In fact, uh, what we'll do is maybe... Maybe we'll put like a tower right there and do two more walls right there. I don't entirely know what I'm doing. Since we don't have any sort of traps or something we can put over there, which, yeah, there are traps. I'm just going to go with a double wall for now. If, if we had traps available, I might do something a little different, but we don't at this moment, so we're not going to worry about it. Now, after enough time has passed, I don't know, a dozen days or so, give or take, maybe eight days, maybe ten days, maybe twelve days or something, we are going to get ourselves a nice big horde that is going to be insistent upon visiting. It's not very fun. Um, they kind of come with a whole boatload of guys. It's uh, not terribly pleasant, but it is what it is. So what can you do, right? So let's see, where are we at right now? We have nine workers available, so we're okay on that front, but it might not be a bad idea just to get a few more going. Uh, the tents are going to take a little bit of energy. We're okay on the energy production side right now. I mean, we could get a mill going if we needed to, but obviously we need the wood right now, which we don't have, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. What I think will be necessary, though, is to put a Tesla tower down. Let's put that right there, because we're going to need to extend this a little bit. At the very least, I'd like to maybe wall things off right about here, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we're probably going to have staggered walls assuming we survive and that's a big if i should tell you too that i'm playing this only on a 75 percent setting so everything is standard straight across the board default settings but i did drop the number of zombies just a little bit because well i haven't had a chance to really get to know this game well and it keeps kind of kicking my butt and i thought you know what let's just go ahead and drop it down a little bit in the hopes that we can get a fun video out of it. Otherwise, it's just going to turn to garbage, like, right away. Okay. And I don't know if it's really a good idea to be doing this and be trying to shred everyone right now. I'm really not sure about that. But it seems like it can't hurt to get rid of a few of these guys. Although, obviously, you can see that by standing over here, I'm actually drawing them over. I don't necessarily want to do that, but at the same time, I'm not entirely opposed to it, you know? So, we'll just kind of let that go. And let's go back to our command center where we're going to do another Tesla tower. I'm just trying to look here. How far out can we go? I would really like to be able to get to the point where we could wall off this side right here. That would give us a good chunk of room where we could kind of use to build and grow. But where do we put this tower? I'm going to guess maybe about right there, because we need to be able to cover... Yeah, let's just do it right there, because we need to be able to build over on this edge and this one. How are we doing on food production? Available 18, consumed 17. So I guess we'll just let the wood accumulate for the time being, and maybe we'll put down a, a fisher hut, fisherman's hut. We'll figure out where we can put that. By the time that tower's operational, 
we should be able to place one in a better spot than where we could last time, because we'll have enough wood at that point, and we'll be able to take care of that. I kind of want to just pull, pull our rangers out right now. I feel like they've done enough, because I, I think I might have actually gone a little too far with that. So we'll just pull them back for the moment and see what we can do here. So, in case you haven't noticed, by the way, yes, you can indeed pause the game at your leisure. Or at your leisure, depending on how you like to pronounce that. Kind of a regional thing, you know? So we do technically have some spots over here, but that doesn't seem to be very good. It seems like that's going to be problematic. 16 food right there. I think that's about the best we're going to get. So we're just going to go ahead and take advantage of that. Boom, 16 right there. Perfect. I think that's stone. Man, I, I'm pretty sure that's stone. Anyway, it's fine. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. You probably know. I'll figure it out. How are we doing on, on, on this front anyway? We have seven workers available, so we're still okay. Now, this fisher hut's going to take two workers. Those workers kind of come from the tents, essentially. We're going to have a bunch of food available, which is good. Energy consumption is not too bad. Let's go ahead and build some more tents. I'm going to say we're ready to do that now. So let's do something right there and right there. And maybe that wasn't a good decision, but you do kind of need some room so that everyone can walk around and kind of make it through. That is an important thing. And then while we're doing this too, let's go ahead and get some more defense set up. So we can build all the way across right here. We could do that. So basically we'd be looking at going all the way across right here. As far as I can tell, zombies like gates. So I don't know if we even want to put gates over here. Maybe we don't. I kind of want to put up another Tesla tower. I, I wish I would have moved that now. I mean, I guess we could demolish it and put it right here, but then it kind of ends up being in the way and all that jazz. But I'd like to be able to build a little more over here. So maybe we end up just putting another tower, I guess, over here. I don't know. I mean, if we go back to that, though, we don't really have a lot of wiggle room for how far out we can build. We can do right there. So we could do something like this, and then we could do, I guess we just do that for now. I mean, we gotta, we gotta be able to block off some of these directions. I kind of regret doing a tower right there. Instead, think maybe I should have put it behind the wall. The tower, by the way, gives you a little extra visibility, so I mean, we can pop up here and you'll see, get a little more visibility, which is kind of nice. I'll leave the soldier up there for now. And you can see the, the soldier actually does get up there and kind of sits in the tower, which is kind of cool. It's a nice little touch. I like that. These are all done. So this is a bit of a weak spot in the sense, but not truly. I mean, it's only one spot right there, but technically that's because that one spot kind of blocks stuff off. I need a little more wood here, and I'd like to make a tower, but we're not going to be able to because I want to put that, that other wall down first. So food should be good now. No? Do we not have enough workers? I don't think we have enough workers going on. What's going on here? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm confused. Command center, 20, 15. Oh, available 26, duh, sorry. I was reading the available as total produced. My bad. I just, I had a moment there. Uh, dude. Maybe don't work over there. I'm just saying, I'd like to pop this down, but I think you'll get stuck if I do that. So I don't really want to do that at the moment. Let's go ahead and move these these folks over here. And while we're while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and build another Tesla tower. Oh man, I'd like to block this off over here too. So if we pop a Tesla tower, sure, let's just do one right there. That's going to allow us to block this off, which at this point only leaves this direction as being open. Now, I'm not necessarily happy with it being open, but the more we can block off, the better, as far as I'm concerned, because I've not had very good luck with this game. I, I have found it to be pretty challenging thus far, so I would prefer not to uh, incite the wrath of tons of zombies, if you know what I'm saying. Now, if we do want to put a gate in here at some point, the gates are three spaces wide. So I'm just kind of looking. We'd probably put the gate right about there. 
And we'd need a double gate, so that means putting a tower, I guess, in the corner. Now, anyone up there is going to get, in addition to the the visibility boost, they're going to get a range boost, too. So it's not just visibility, it is range. You'll see that the, the uh, uh, rangers here, attack speed, sorry, attack range, combining things. Attack range of four, so... Or <laughs> Speed of six, range of four. My goodness. Range six, speed yes. four. Whatever. I can't speak. Yeah. We all know that. So they do have pretty decent sure. range as is, but uh, I would gladly take a little more if I could get it. So, you know, yeah. why not? Now, I'm kind of probably doing a bad thing here by bringing everyone over here. But at the same time, I'm just kind of looking at that going, eh, there's some free resources over there that we could probably use. We also might want to think about getting some stone going soon so we can get a military building, the Soldier Center operational. So let's take a look. What is it going to cost to get the quarry going? We need 30 wood. Now we do have, I think, yeah, we have 10 workers available. It's going to be four for that. We have plenty of gold. We just need the wood. My bad. Wrong button. So here, let's just go ahead and let these, we'll control these rangers a little bit and get rid of some zombies here. And then why don't I take one of them? Ooh, I don't actually want to get in the middle of that. Never mind. I just made a bunch of zombies kind of angry. My bad. We'll just back up a little bit. They're going to slowly make their way over here. But with any luck, we'll be able to take care of that by the time they get here. Maybe we call an audible and start building walls across the way instead. Nope. There they are right there. They're attacking the Tesla Tower. It's just a random one right now, so it's okay. We'll go ahead and repair that. Should probably mention you can't repair if zombies are in the neighborhood. This is why I want to block this off right now. Oh wow, yeah, there are a lot of zombies just hanging out over here. We gotta get rid of at least a few of these. They're a little too close. Okay, let's pull these guys back. They're they're kinda of sending a few scouts out at this point. I don't want to use the, the soldier up there because they're loud. Guns are loud, okay? Guns are loud. Guns kind of draw zombies in. We don't really need to do that at the moment. I know they are. We're taking care of it. Don't you worry about it. We got it. We'll just go ahead and repair that. There is a button to do repair all, but to this point, I kind of like repairing stuff on my own just because I can kind of keep a little better track of what's going on. You know, I'm going to call an audible. I'm going to call that audible. And I'm going to say, let's get this defense going first. Let's let's just get this going first. One, two, three. We'll put a gate in here because we will be going out. And we'll just go ahead and let that stuff get building. You are going to pay me for this, right? Yep, you'll get paid. Okay. Don't worry. So long as you don't die, you'll get paid. So don't die. You'll get paid. Now, this one layer of walls is definitely not going to be sufficient. So we're going to have to add to that. And technically, well, we're going to have to build behind it because uh, this, this doesn't quite reach. Actually, yeah, I wish we could go out rather than have to come in because we end up losing some real estate that way. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and switch to the command center. We'll go to defense. I don't know all the shortcut keys yet. I'm slowly learning them. Yeah, I know. Colony's under attack, and in the meantime, we're going to do that. So where is this going on? There you are. Right there. And we'll just go ahead and take care of that guy. Cannot repair it right now. We don't have the resources we need. We need more wood. And obviously, we still need more wood over here. We're going to need to build a couple more walls. We need a second gate over here. I'm kind of tempted in the, in the meantime to just put up a wall instead of a gate. I mean, the gates... Technically, the gates have more more hit points than a wall, but you know, the walls are only one square wide, whereas the, the gates are, are three. So, you know, right? Here, let's go ahead and just repair everything. I know, it's just that wall and then the tower. We really do need to get some more wood going. That's kind of a problem right now. I mean, we could put up a little wood grinder right here. I know it's not a wood grinder. I just thought that would sound kind of fun to call it a wood grinder. Oh, thank you, autosave. I was just thinking, actually, I might want to save the game. 
just to be sure. I haven't had any problems with the game. Nothing to speak of, but uh, generally speaking, I do like to kind of, you know, make sure I got saves and stuff going on. So whatever. It's fine. We're good. Let's go ahead and put some more walls down. We'll... Nope. Wrong one. That would be a tower. We're, we're going to want a tower over here. Don't get me wrong, but for right now, we need to put a gate down. And in case you... I put that totally in the wrong place. My bad. In case you don't know, tab is how you rotate things. I had to search for that. I was like, how in the heck do I rotate stuff? Because it's not R, and it's not right click. Right click is cancel. So, there you go. Right click is also move to attack. Move in attack. Move, attack, attack, move, whatever. You know what I mean, right? Right, good. So we'll just get rid of a few more zombies here. And then I think we should head back to base. Oh, I guess we'll just get rid of the rest of these ones over here. There are only a few of them anyway. I mean, it kind of helps thin the horde a little bit in case they decide to come from this direction. There won't be as many to call from. And I feel a little better now having gotten rid of all of them. I mean, I suspect there are a bunch over here, and that's fine too. I mean, it's not fine because they're zombies, but it's fine for now. So far, so good. We have... 10 workers still available. We've got all sorts of food right now. 26 food available, 10 workers available. We are so close to getting a mayor. Let's do that. Let's put up another tent. And then that's going to give us enough to get a mayor going. And I'm going to stagger things just like that. That'll be fine. Everyone can still get to the buildings. That won't be a problem. The game is just trying to be cautious here. Technically, we do have enough wood now to go ahead and get that quarry going, which we probably should be doing. But I want to get a mayor in just in case. I, I think I kind of broke those gates. I'm willing to bet you they don't work. I didn't realize when I was doing that where I placed them. Yes. My bad. Yeah, they don't, they don't actually work. That's fine. I don't actually want them to work right now. We don't need them to work. They're fine. All right, there we go. I heard somebody around here needs a mayor. Yes, we do need a mayor. So you get a mayor when you reach 30 people, basically 30 population. Get your choice of mayors, and they bring with them some sort of bonus. So in the case of Trent, we're going to get gold reserves plus 600 and wood reserves plus 10. I'm not sure if that means that we can have 600 more and 10 more. Thus, we would have 2,600 gold and 60 wood. Because, I don't know, if it's just a one-time boost of 610, I don't care. But then we can get a bonus of the Tech Lookout Tower. I am really curious about that. I have not played with that. So I'm going to choose that as an option and see what that does for us. So can we build... I'm not sure what that did, actually. Tech Lookout Tower. Can... can I don't know. Maybe that's some sort of thing we can't build yet. I suspect that would be the case. Probably shouldn't have taken that, but oh well. I'm curious. That's how I'm going to roll. My cat is okay with it. Well, maybe not. Oh, yeah. You're okay with it, right? You're okay with it? She's okay with it. So we're going to roll with that tech lookout tower. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We need to use some more wood here. And I, I should probably dismantle that one. And I guess that one needs to be dismantled. I don't I don't know what's going on over here. It's, it's just all kinds of wonky. Can I... Can I put that down and it will work? I'm not sure what's going to happen. There we go. I was going to say, I, I hope it'll fix itself, but I'm not really sure if it will at this point. But that's where we're going to leave it. So I hope you're enjoying this so far, because I am. We've got about a week in on the first episode, not too shabby, and haven't died yet. That's the part that's not too shabby. I don't know about getting a week. I don't know that that means anything at this point, but... Uh, haven't died yet. That's an improvement over my previous games. Granted, I think I lived more than seven days, but still. We're not playing seven days to die, you know? So, there you go. We're playing They Are Billions. And, with any luck, we're going to survive against them. So, I'm going to leave it right here, and look at that. We are ready for a quarry, and in fact, maybe we'll just slap one of these things down, and that's where we leave it. Oh, uh, we could get five there. We can get four there. We can get four there... Oh, I don't know. Let's let's put four right there for now, because we don't really have much defense over here. So I'll catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.